So welcome to the Etawalpa theme styling and customization tutorial from WordPressAcademy.biz. My name is Mark Beneteau and I believe this is the first free tutorial on styling and customizing this amazingly powerful theme framework that has ever been produced. Note that this is a companion video uh, for a free ebook and training course, WordPress 101 Quick Start, your first site in two hours. So you may want to go over to WordPressAcademy.biz right away and get that book and follow along as the tutorial progresses. Before I begin though, I, I need your help in pronouncing At Atahualpa. I believe it's pronounced Atahualpa, but it's hard to say because the author um, of this theme is called Flynn, he lives in, and he lives in Germany. So I honestly don't know if he knows any better than I do how to pronounce it. What's for sure is that he's put in thousands of hours on this theme framework and he's created uh, an, a, an amazing product and there's a very active support community. Uh, if you Google uh, BFA forum, uh, you can go there and you can uh, interact with people there and learn a lot. And just a heads up, Flynn is working on the next version of this theme, it's called Theme Frame. Um, at themeframe.com. However, it is a commercial product, um, so as amazing as it as it as it as it is. But so for net, for today, we're going to stick to Atahualpa. Please understand. Also, this is a beginner tutorial. We're really just going to brush the surface. Um, there's much more advanced material available both on my site, WordPressAcademy.biz, and on the BFA forums. But let's begin. So this is what um, Atahualpa looks like um, right after uh, installation and it's important that you understand the various elements as uh, you can control each one um, separately and I'll show you how in just a minute, it's very simple. Um, by default there's a top navigation bar, uh, it can be moved um, to um, below uh, the banner if you wish, followed by a site title, logo and tagline. Um, you can also remove this of course, you can also choose to overlay the site title and logo over the banner. Um, then there's the banner area. Um, then the page is configured by default with a left and a right sidebar, which um, can be um, obviously removed or change the width. Um, Atahualpa also comes with uh, four possible sidebars, the left and right sidebar that are shown here, but also um, you can do a left inner and a right uh, inner sidebar as well. So here's your WordPress dashboard. Um, first thing uh, you're going to do, of course, if you haven't already installed it, is um, uh, install Atahualpa. So that's very easily done from Appearance menu, um, Add New Theme, and then search for Atahualpa. And then install and activate it. Um, I've already done it, so I won't do it again. Um, so let's go back to the site. This is what it looks like. This is the fresh, you know, Atahualpa install, Atahualpa style. Tutorial is the title, the site title. Best Atahualpa site you will ever have is the tagline. Um, this is uh, in your uh, settings menu. Um, and then um, I've added a couple pages. So there's a bunch of uh, extra pages on my top uh, navigation bar. And then you have default widgets on the left and default widgets on the right. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this site title um, and tagline altogether, and I'm going to later um, overlay it on top of the header image. Then I'm going to put this um, navigation bar below the, uh, the header image. Um, then I'm going to configure the site to a fixed width, 1000 pixels, uh, with a right sidebar. So uh, watch this. Okay, so I'm back in my admin and, and I'm going to um, click on Atahualpa theme options. And um, we're going to edit the header area. That's where I'm already are, am. And notice um, right away um, in the first field of header area, you'll see um, some sh what, uh, what I'm, uh, short codes essentially for um, the different elements. This is this is kind of unique to Atahualpa actually. So um, percent pages is the um, short code for the for the pages navigation bar. So we said we want that at the end. 
um, below the image, which is the logo, uh, sorry, the image is the banner, we're going to get rid of logo, that displays the logo and the, um, uh, the site name and the site tagline in the top area there. Um, so we'll start right away with the banner, which is percent image. Then uh, we'll put a separator called bar one. This is uh, kind of a nice uh, way for uh, that Atahualpa, you know, create separators. You can style bar one and bar two um, as you wish. So we're going to have the banner image, image, separator bar one, uh, page navigation bar, and then bar two. So let's save that. I'm going to go into uh, style and configure layout now. Um, I'm going to set this to a thousand pixel uh, fixed width. Um, you definitely you can set it to a um, variable or fluid width. Um, I don't especially recommend it, but it's possible. Um, Um, and now I said I wanted to remove uh, the sidebar, so let's go under um, Style and Edit, uh, Configure Sidebars, rather. Um, and we said we're not going to use the left sidebar, we're going to uh, display only a right sidebar. So um, this menu here, Left Sidebar Display On, sets the type of pages that you want your left sidebar to display on. So you can display a uh, sidebar, left sidebar on your home page or on your front page, but not on your, any of your other pages. It's a very powerful feature of um, Atahualpa, so in this case we, we want it not, we don't want any sidebar, no right, uh, left sidebar ever. Notice down here you can selectively enter the page ID of the, um, where you do not want to display the sidebar. And as I mentioned, you, there's, a, there's, a, there's up to four possible sidebars, um, left sidebar, left inner sidebar down here, right sidebar, these are the pages that you want the right sidebar to display on, right inner sidebar. Um, so far we have only the right in, uh, sidebar uh, active right now where all these types of pages are checked where you want it to display. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is we need to set the width of the sidebar. So left sidebar we're going to set it back to zero. Left inner set it to zero. Right sidebar 200 is good. And we'll put everything else at zero. So as of now the site is a thousand pixels wide with a 200 pixel right sidebar. Um, We've moved the um, uh, the banner is coming on top. The page navigation bar is coming uh, under the banner with the separate with the bar one and the bar two separator. You can see it here, sort of slightly. Um, and as you can see, the right uh, the left sidebar has disappeared. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the banner image, uh, which of course is going to be one of your first tasks. Um, Atawalpa has a rotating uh, banner image set up. Um, and all you, all you really need to do is upload your banner to the correct directory and we will automatically detect it and post it. Either one or multiple banners which will, it will automatically rotate if you, um, if you specify uh, it. So um, I've actually already prepared uh, a banner image. I use the uh, free paint.net software. Um, if you want to do, you know, do this yourself, uh, go to wordpressacademy.biz and search for paint.net. It's a, it's a free software. You can make your own banner in, in 10 or 15 minutes for your site. Um, it, can, it can look very nice. So um, I'm in FileZilla, so I'm just going to connect to my uh, web server. Um, I'm going to navigate to the, uh, to the correct directory. I need to go back to my root here. So the site is called Demo6, so I'm going to go into Demo6. From here you go into WP Content, Atawalpa, sorry, uh, uh, WP Content Themes, Atawalpa, Images, I'm just kind of going down deeper into the directory, uh, and header. And these are the three images that Atawalpa uses by default um, for its uh, rotating um, banner. Uh, just delete them. Select and, and delete, really delete these three files. Um, on my left side is my local directory, and I'm just going to pull in um, the banner that I made. It's called swan3.jpg. It's a thousand pixels wide, which is the width of my site and 150 pixels high. It, it could be uh, wider than that, um, seeing as it's a background image for the banner, but it, it shouldn't be any shorter. So now it's there. I can close off FileZilla, and all, all I have to do is refresh the site, and the banner image should update. So there we are. 
Um, you know, this is a uh, you know very simple um, demonstration. Um, all right, so now we're reaching our, our ten minute um, uh, limit for YouTube. So please continue um, this video with um, a Tawalpa styling uh, part two.